Let's travel the Marvel Universe. Cool. No Sanctum Sanctorum, though. I got lost in there for 200 years. Strange. Hi, I'm Good Weather, Lorraine. And I'll be your pilot. I'm Langston. And this is Earth's Mightiest Show. Where we are talking about all of the most well-traveled stuff in the Marvel Universe. This week, we are traversing the globe trying to check out everything Marvel has on Earth from art to theme parks. You know what, Lorraine? Uh, uh, I gotta admit something. I've never visited any of our Marvel superheroes beyond the pages of my comic books. What? Langston! Langston, we have to talk about this. Come with me if you really want to live. Okay. Where are we going? Everywhere! Lorraine, have you been planning this the entire time? Maybe. Just saying. Anyways, this is your portal to the world. Oh, okay. Well, what is this? Does it contain as guardian magic? Oh, something much better. The internet. Oh, sure. Let's take a trip. First, let's visit Disney California Adventure in Disneyland Resort in California. And while you're there, you can help the Guardians of the Galaxy break out. But be careful, because when Rocket has a plan, you know it's going to have its ups and downs. Hey, Agent M and you visited last year, and, and Ryan freaked right out, didn't he? Oh, yeah. No, he screamed. Like a person who screams, like a little baby. <laughs> tears? Real tears? Oh, for sure. I'm here for it. Dominated. I like it. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, also, I can be Groot while I'm there. Oh, I want to give him a hug. He's so tall. And then I can have a totally awesome dance off with some of the Guardians of the Galaxy. I got some sweet moves, and I'm coming for you, Star Lord. Are you ready for another stop? Oh, yeah. Let's go visit Disneyland Paris. Bonjour. Oh, Langston, you have to visit Stark Expo, which brings to life the tech of the Marvel Universe, and you'll maybe even encounter a malevolent god. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. I gotta go see the Marvel Superheroes United show. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. The season of Superheroes is starting on March 23rd and going all the way to June 16th. So I got some time in the rain. They've got Captain Marvel and Groot for uh, the first time as a heroic encounter. I want to encounter Captain Marvel. I know you do. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh, we have to check out Hong Kong Disneyland. Here we are at Hong Kong Disneyland. We can visit a Stark Expo all its own. Oh, but be careful because Hydra has been known to cause problems. That's all they do is cause problems. Oh, yeah. and if you're, you're Team Iron Man like me, you can head over to the Iron Man experience and go on a rip roaring adventure as only could be crafted by Stark Industries. And I hear they've got a brand new attraction coming March 31st that I'm gonna love. Ant-Man and the Wasp Nano Battle. Yeah, that's right. You can ride in a S.H.I.E.L.D. state-of-the-art vehicle, get to engage in a heroic battle fighting alongside Ant-Man and the Wasp <laughs> against Zola and his super jerk army of Hydra Swarm Bots. Hydra Swarm Bots. Rude. Also fun to say. What was that? It sounds like a Marvel Day at Sea. Hey, Marvelites, Ryan Panagos, AKA Agent M here, and I just got back from an amazing Marvel Day at Sea Disney cruise. It was so cool, I just have to show you. Check this out. This was my first ever cruise, and I was blown away by how much there was to see and do. My first stop of the day was at one of the many heroic encounters that were happening all day long throughout the ship, and it was meeting Captain Marvel. It was extra special because Marvel Day at Sea is the first place in the world where folks got to encounter Captain Marvel. She was awesome. Later on in the day, I was able to get in on a super special mission, getting to pose with Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Black Panther. There was also a ton of Marvel-themed entertainment and activities throughout the day. I took in the Star Spangled USO show with singing and dancing, and a surprise appearance from Captain America himself. Later, I tried my hand at a bit of Marvel trivia, then I caught the amazing Journey into the Mystic Arts show. It was so good! A few young fans were even able to join the battle against the Dark Dimension as apprentices of the Sorcerer Supreme himself. After that, I curled up with a few comics from the Comic Vault. Anyone on the ship can borrow one of these Comic Vault devices and read hundreds of Marvel comics. I wanted to do a little last minute reading before my big Marvel Masters stage show where I talked all things Marvel. Then I found one of the ship's shops that was packed with dope Marvel Day at Sea merch. I picked up this shirt and a few gems only available on the ship. Gotta love that exclusive merch. But oh man, what a finale we had at the end of the day for the Heroes Unite show. So many heroes. There was so much action, so much fun, lots of fireworks, and a cameo by Stan Lee. What an amazing end to an amazing day. So much Marvel goodness, y'all. Oh, I can't wait to plan my Marvel Day at Sea trip next year. It's going to be so rad. January to March in 2020, I'm going to hop on another Disney cruise, get another action-packed day with the largest assembly of Marvel superheroes and villains. You 
You guys, I can't wait. I gotta go again. Now, if you wanna learn more, check out DisneyCruise.com. Oh, I feel so rejuvenated. I love it. I'm so glad I packed this. Oh, there are so many awesome experiences from days at sea to Disneyland. But you know what? I got to experience a little Disney magic right here in New York with Patty Murin from Frozen on Broadway. Ooh, yeah. Watch this. I am here with the star of Frozen on Broadway. She plays Anna. Patty Murin. Hey. Hello. So I'm, happy to be here. Oh my gosh. I am so excited that you're here. First off, Frozen is just wonderful. Thank you. I enjoyed it so much. I'm a huge fan of the movie. I, this show has so much new stuff in it though that I didn't have any idea would be there. Can you tell people a little bit about some of the different stuff they'll see that might be a little different from the film? Yeah, um, well there's 12 new songs. So in addition to the, I believe five or six from the movie, and then there's this whole new part of the score which really sort of allows the, the story to be developed more that you can kind of go into the, the heads of the characters a lot more. There's a great new duet between me and Kristoff while as we climb a mountain, you know, called What Do You Know About Love, which is really, one, I think, one of my favorite parts of, of the show. So it's the same story that everyone loves from the movie, but it's just put in human form and expanded. From the special effects to the sets to yeah. all of the puppetry yes. and the whole picture together, what was the most sort of exciting for you? The first time we went into the theater, I was so overwhelmed that I couldn't speak. I had to like sort of like retreat into myself because it was just so massive. And there was, it was the empty stage, you know, with, with the, it was all painted, but there was no set pieces on stage. It was just the basic frozen set. It was like real, you know? And Sven, Sven the reindeer. Every so time cute. I meet him on stage, I'm like, oh, you're a reindeer. Oh wait, no, your face is plastic. So like, <laughs> I, I get tricked every time. Every time. And I love it too because I think that it is a fairy tale, but it's also a superhero story. Absolutely. Because, I mean, obviously Elsa yeah. clearly has superpowers, but I kind of think yes. Anna is like such a hero. Yeah. I think I relate more to the heroine aspect of Anna than to the princess aspect. Because everyone's like, oh, Disney princess. And you're like, well, yeah, I guess. But like, she's really like, she's like an adventurer, you know? She goes and like climbs mountains and like, meets a snowman and you know she just she has such a great journey she does everything possible to go and, and bring her sister back and find her sister and it's all driven by love and this is why i cry yeah. this whole movie and this whole show <laughs> well there you have it but would you like to play a game with us absolutely yeah this game is called character karaoke we have the amazing dan Wrights. how's it going uh who is going to play piano for us and we're going to pick a genre out and then we are gonna pick out a line and sing that line to whatever the music dictates. These are all actual quotes from Marvel Comics. Whee! We'll see how it goes. Okay, <laughs> okay our genre is, oh. Our oh genre, no, <laughs> no. Our genre is opera. I'll Ooh. just, I'll just take it. Yep. Just do baritone, do baritone. <laughs> baritone. <laughs> Here we go. Quiet, there's the circus now. I've got to beam some instructions ahead to my friends. Oh my lord. Very good. <laughs> that was Ant-Man, <laughs> if you couldn't guess why anyone was beaming ahead instructions to their to ants. ants. Okay, mm -hmm. so here we go. Pick okay. a genre, any genre. Oh my goodness. Uh, power ballad. Yes! Oh my goodness. Power ballad, go ahead. An excellent quote <laughs> to pull that's for a power of Mr. Fantastic. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. It was fantastic. <laughs> Thank Great you. Great job. It's okay. exciting. It's like the 80s all over again. Folk song. Oh. Oof. But I did tell Dan if we pulled folk song that it should be in the spirit of frozen folk song. Okay. All right. So we're going to see how it goes. <laughs> what should I do with such almighty power? The answer to that is quite simple. Anything I want. Oh, that was Thanos. <laughs> no, I want a Marvel musical. <laughs> you guys, call me. I'm available to just sit around and enjoy it. Okay. Jazz stand. Oh, yeah, that's going to be oh, a good one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, random dude. You 
don't get to rob grocery stores on my watch. <laughs> Did you hear snapping? <laughs> snapping out of That was incredible. I believe that was a Ms. Marvel quote. Yep. Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel. I know my Ms. Marvel. You're good. Let's see what we've got here. Modern pop. Oh. Modern pop. Name. I can't tell you my real name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, must not know my identity. Just make out the check to Spider-Man. Oh, that was good. Honestly, I have to say I got a real Carol King vibe from that. Actually, yeah, it wasn't modern. I, it was modern. But it was. I, I liked that. Though. It was moderately pop. Yeah, but it was good. I like that. Okay, the last one. All right. Oh my I goodness. see it. It's sitting oh. right there. Oh my god! It's Broadway musical. Yes. <laughs> Go away. I speak to no one. I have no friends. <laughs> what a sad one. <laughs> One. Hulk. <laughs> oh. Sad Hulk. We will not see any of those lyrics in Frozen, though, will we? No. <laughs> okay, we're going to do like 10 more of those. Thank you so much, and be sure to watch Frozen on Broadway at the St. James Theater. She's so talented. Oh she should be on Broadway. She, and she is. The twist is she is. So, uh, And you were great, too. You Come oh, on. Come thanks, on now. Langston. Yes. I mean, let's, I'm, I'm no Anna or Elsa, but I'm something Elsa. Okay, wow. tell us what Marvel experience you'd most like to visit with the hashtag Earthspidea Show. We'll see you next time. I'm Lorraine. And I'm Langston. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Ooh. Thanks for watching Earth's Mighty Show. If you like this, like this and subscribe to the Marvel channel. Or click the box over there to watch our last episode. So where are you going? Oh man, I gotta go all over the world. You said everywhere, you know what I wanna go? North Pole. Let's see Marvel North Pole. What's there? Iceman. Ooh.